this is a vertical cardem and uh, in this video we are going to share with you how you can go about answering question uh, tw uh, question 22 part b or question b to be more specific from 2022 mathematics paper one which came in gce uh under gce uh so this is about a quadratic function so it, it comes as in paper one guys and uh, by the way, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel for more information. Okay, so the statement of the question reads, uh, the diagram shows the sketch of the graph of y equals 3 minus 2x minus x squared passing through a, b, and c. So this is a graph. And yeah, so let's see how we can be able to answer this question. Now. I want you to understand that uh, a quadratic equation or function should be in this standard form of y is equal to, you start with this, uh, the highest power, this term with the highest power, which is a uh, negative x squared, and then followed by this, uh, uh, the other lower power, negative 2x, then the other last number, which is a uh, positive 3. So this is just to sort of uh, help you understand how you can uh, standardize whatever is not in the correct form. And from there now, we know that you should be able to identify your A, your B, and your C. So from this, uh, your A is the number in front of X squared, that is uh, the coefficient of X squared, which is uh, negative one, and also the coefficient of this X is just uh, negative two. And the number alone, uh, which is 3, is a constant C, which is just a positive 3. And once you do that, um, you're, you're good to go. You, 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 are, you are now heading to the proper direction. So now the question is, uh, uh, find the coordinates of point A and C. So we are looking at these coordinates. Now, one of the most important things that you need to understand is uh, when you have a point that lies on this um, x-axis like this one. One of the things is that this have in common is that they lie on, in, in the same axis as the x-axis. So in that case, when you have something that lies in that way, and let's say you have a number there too, okay? And this number um, as the other component number in terms of the coordinate, so this is that number comma zero. So in short, the y axis or the y value in the x axis is zero. So not, not the y value, okay? The y value in the, in the x axis, okay? In the x axis, this axis is zero okay so in order to understand the coordinate at a okay as well as at c so you have whatever value is in terms of the x there is x comma zero and whatever value you have um are there this is that and then at c it is also x comma zero now when you take note you find that A is on the left side of the axis, so that is negative x, and this one is positive x because it is on the right axis of uh, x. Um, uh, it's on the right side of the x axis. Okay, so from there now we can say um, where you get that uh, value, like uh, this is y equals to, I mean, that uh, equation x squared minus 2x plus 3. And now we can apply the, the quadratic formula to find, um, in short, here we put 0 equals to negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. So now we can uh, use the quadratic formula, which says that x is equal to negative b plus or minus and then the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 
uh, 2a. Okay, so uh, what this means is that um, x will be equal to now be able to substitute with uh, those values now with uh, these values, okay, in the actual formula. So b negative b open bracket your b is negative so be careful there so you have this plus or minus square root of that so our b is negative so we have this minus uh, 4 open bracket your a is negative 1 and your c uh, your c is positive uh, 3 and then divide by uh, 2 multiplied by your a is uh, negative 1, negative 1, that one, so negative 1. So once you do that now, this is going to be x equals, so this is a positive 2 plus or minus, so positive multiplied by, po uh, I mean negative multiplied by negative, get positive. And then, as you know, this is a, uh, negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 so this will give us positive 4 so positive 4 then we know that this negative 4 multiplied by negative 1 is we get uh, positive we get positive 4 then multiply by this 3 okay you're gonna actually get uh, positive 12 so you have plus 12 divide by this is a uh, negative uh, 2 and now this is going to be x will be equal to this is uh, 2 plus or minus then here you're gonna actually get uh, 4 plus 12 is 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 so I'm gonna have 4 there and divide by negative 2 so what this means is that now uh, the x can now be 2 start with positive plus 4 divide by negative 2 or the x can be uh, 2 and then you followed by negative there so why are we putting the negative because the signs are 2 there and then from there now we can say x equals to uh, 6 there divide by 2 okay and this is also x equals to this one is negative 2 divided by negative 2 and now our x here is a positive 1 and then our x here is negative 3 okay so we said that our values uh, for a it is on the left side of the axis so it is on the left side of the axis so that should be uh, this is the one that we have here as in negative x, so negative x comma zero. And then for uh, when you plug in now, this is just going to be now. So which one is as a positive a negative value? So is this one. So your a is gonna be negative three comma zero. And then for c, uh, so c is on the right side of the axis so we expect this value to be positive because from zero going this side all, all the values are in between there are positive so from this we can conclude that uh, the, the the value of c in terms of the x value is one comma zero okay so these are the coordinates of the a and c now the other question is how do we find the turning point of the graph so for you to find the turning point okay um, you can simply find the turning point by using this formula okay so x equals to negative b divided by uh, negative b divided by 2a okay so our x value is going to be we know from that point that 
the value of b is negative 2, that of a is negative 1. And therefore, we can now say that negative open bracket, our b is negative, divide by 2, and then our a is negative 1. So therefore, our x value is going to be on top, positive 2, then down here, negative 1, um, 2. And this is going to be negative 1. Okay. So that is our value of the x. Now, what about uh, the y, the y part? Okay. So for us to find the y part, all we have to do is simply say, you get that actual equation. You get the actual equation and then just substitute with this value, x equals to negative 1. Okay. Okay. So meaning that um, uh, this is a uh, negative x squared minus uh, 2x uh, plus 3. So therefore, y is negative, open bracket, our x value is negative 1. So d squared minus this plus this. And therefore, this is a uh, negative 1. You are simply saying negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 is just positive 1. Okay, and then multiply by this negative there. So you get negative 1. And this is going to be plus negative times negative, plus 2, then plus 3. Then from there now we know it is negative 1 plus 6 now. Okay, and then y equals, this can just be sort of a, interchange is that if x minus 1 and this is just going to be 5 okay so uh, therefore our turning point is now uh, x comma y which is simply uh, the value of x is negative 1 and the value of y is positive 5 okay so this is how you can go about uh, answering the question. So thank you so much, guys, for uh, watching. Please uh, like as well as share my videos. And make sure that uh, you comment uh, if you are facing a challenge to follow this question. Make sure that you do uh, comment in the comment section. If you'll be watching me from uh, Facebook or uh, maybe from uh, YouTube. So feel free. So this is a Radko Kardem and this is a Professor Watermark. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.